been a hot minute since we released a beta podcast. It's been actually been five years. Hey guys, Michael Bookerbrand here. We are super excited to release the baby trick shad for iCast 2024. Uh, let me talk about some of the bullet points with this bait. Um, it's a six inch ABS bait. Um, it's six inches long. It has a plastic tail. And it's one of the cool unique features about it is, is it has these swivel hook hangers that we are known for on our resin baits. Um, it comes with two number two hooks. It also comes with a spare color, a spare tail. The bait comes in 10 exciting colors. I mean, from bone to natural colors to a little bit of, little bit of crank bait color. You got a little bit of everything in there for everybody. Um, it also comes with a spare tail. We are also offering spare tails for purchase as well. And one of the cool things about the spare tail thing that I really, really like that we don't offer with the regular trick shad is you come in many different colors. And it act, the tail color can act as a tracer. So if you use a translucent bait or a bait that really blends in in the water and you can't see, you could put a white tail on there, a pink tail on there, and you can use those tails as tracers so you can keep an eye on that bait and see what it's doing at all times. On line selection, I personally like braid, um, but you can fish it on any kind of line, fluorocarbon or mono. Uh, usually mono you, and four carp, and you probably want to stay in the 15 to 20 pound range. 15, 17 will probably be ideal. Um, so that's really cool that uh, it works on any kind of line. Reel ratio, I personally prefer a seven to one ratio reel. Uh, anything that's semi high speed, not too high speed, but not too low speed. Too low speed, you're gonna be working yourself to death. Too high speed, you're gonna overwork the bait. So I like a seven to one and a 100, 200 series reel is perfect for this little bait. For rod choices, I like the 765 Fury Flipping Stick for this rod. It's not the ideal rod, but it works really, really well. There's not a lot of small, tiny swim bait rods out there. Basically, what you need is a heavy duty jerk bait rod so that it has a little bit of tip but has some bite bound to throw it. But I'm doing really well with the 765 Flip um, for Dobbins Rod and Fury Iron. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I work this bait. The cool thing is, is there's not a wrong way to work it. Um, there's many different ways you can work it. Um, you can work it like a spook with the rod tip and the reel, pick up, this, pick up the line, cadence that you do just like a spook, and you can watch it and vary your retrieve, which gives you the best action of that bait when you're doing that. And that goes for all the cadences. I also use the rod tip um, to uh, pull it and do what I call the curl. So what it does is it swims like this, and then it comes over and it just sits there on the paws. The cool thing is, is this bait doesn't fold. It always looks natural. It's not a mechanical look to it. So it, it sits as a flat profile for the fish to hit. Doesn't give off any negative cues. Uh, you can also work it like a jerk bait. You can also do the handle chop, which is another very effective retrieve with god baits is the handle chop. So adjust your retrieve, adjust your cat. It's based on how the bait swims and you'll be really successful with this bait. All right, the one thing about glide bait is, and, and it goes for all glide baits, both in the custom resin side and the ABS side, is you need to be very mindful on how you store your bait. I would recommend that you store it flat and store it or hang it. Those are the two best ways to do it because if your tail warps, your bait's not gonna swim right. You know, it goes like on a rudder of a boat or something that's crooked, it's just not gonna have that same directional swim that you would expect out of your bait. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to fish glide baits and where to fish them. The first thing I want you to do is make sure that you're not intimidated to throw a bait like this. Um, this is a everyday forage for a lot of fish, especially the bigger size ones. But as you saw earlier, I caught a small fish on a six inch bait. It wasn't much longer than 14 inches. Um, so don't get it, don't be intimidated by the size of the bait. What I want you to do is fish this bait like you would a uh, jerk bait or, or top water, same type of areas, throw them around cover, boat houses, lay downs, grass lines, any place where there's a fish. Put it in the same areas that you would like in the same types of year that you would normally fish them. If you're catching fish on a top water, you will have fish, you can catch fish on a glide bait because they're coming up and they're reacting. That's the biggest thing is to be able to get them to come up. Um, I like to fish these things subsurface, um, right under the water. It is a super slow sink in my terms. Uh, it sinks very, very slow. 
the cool thing is, is I didn't want it to sink like a rock because it's much easier to bait, get a bait to swim, sink faster than it is slower. You could just add different hooks or add the spin strips or whatever. So I wanted it to start out as a slow sink. So I like to be able to see the bait coming through the top. I see about 90% of the fish that hit my bait on a glide bait when I'm fishing it. You usually see a swirl, you see a flash or whatever. Um, and that's why I like to be able to see it. So you might want to put some cider stripes on it, or like I said so earlier, change the tail to white so that you can use this as a tracer so you can keep a track of where your bait is and you can work it appropriately and see how it's swimming. But don't be intimidated if those up. This is what fish eat every day. This is the shape. It looks like a shad, swims like a shad. Does a spinner bait swim like a shad? Does a trick worm swim like a shad? This is real here, you know? So there's really no trickery involved. So that is what we do as resident guys is we try to mimic nature the best that we can, make it look as real as it can so that the fish will hit it. So those are some tips that hopefully help you to catch more fish uh, when you're throwing our new baby trick shad.